Hey everyone, welcome back to the next episode. In today's video, we've rocked up at my work, my normal job, at the Bermuda Underwater Exploration Institute. You're probably wondering, why have you rocked up at your work? There's a very good reason for that, because at this organisation, we showcase treasure, artefacts and shipwrecks. And in this video, we're going to go explore the two wrecks that inspired the film, The Deep. Which you may have seen, or may not, but if you have, definitely go check it out. But we're also going to take you down and show you the actual treasures and artifacts from that wreck, including the morphine vials. That's a key theme in the films as well. So let's go jump in, let's go dive these wrecks, and let's go show you the treasure of the wrecks. As we finally reach the constellation shipwreck, the wreck that inspired Peter Benchley to write The Deep, you'll notice the wreck site is covered in cement bags. Now, this ship was a four-mast wooden schooner and on its last cargo run from New York to Venezuela, it was carrying 2,000 tons of cement bags. It was carrying photographs. It was carrying crates of Johnny Walker whiskey. It was carrying amples of morphine, iodine, and adrenaline as well. Now, when it was setting sail from New York on the 19th of July, 1943, it was the last cargo ship on a licensed run as a wooden schooner out of New York. And after a few days on the 22nd, the ship actually ran into difficulty and was taking on water. It should have only taken the ship a few days to pass Bermuda, but it actually took almost two weeks to reach Bermuda, even though it was heading towards Venezuela. But because the ship was so far behind schedule and struggling, they headed into Bermuda for repair. When they arrived into Bermuda, the captain wasn't too sure of the reefs and unfortunately hit the reef. Now it's also maybe believed that he actually hit the bow of the Montana and not the reef. It's not known what he hit, but it's assumed it is the reef. But because they're so close to the Montana, from when it sunk, it's 100 feet apart, it's believed that he probably hit the Montana bow. I'll let you guys comment below to see if you think it was the reef or the Montana he hit. But as the dive site is full of marine life, as you can see, Peter and Nigel are just photogenic happy and video happy because there's loads of Bermuda chub, there's pudding white frass, there's trumpet fish, there's porcupine fish, there's trunks fish. There's so much life on this wreck to explore because they've just made it its home between the cement bags. Now, if you've seen the film The Deep, you'll know that the treasure hunters had the, the drug dealers on their case and were making them to go down and collect the morph files for them to sell back and if they collected it there's going to be no trouble because they got in a bit of trouble with the drug dealers. Now that's the premise of the film and the reason why is because this wreck was covered in morphine vials as we'll see later in the video in the treasure room. Stone cold since you left me here so come on why won't you reappear things that I said came out totally wrong can speak as I said, 100 yards away is the Montana shipwreck. Now the Montana wreck was a Confederate blockade runner. It was a paddle wheel steamer, and what they used to do is they would run the black market trade of supplies on these paddle wheel steamers, because they had a high price to run through the Union blockade during the US Civil War to resupply the Confederates via Florida, Georgia, the Carolinas, Virginia. Now, in today's money, one of these ships would have cost $200,000 to purchase. And if they had a successful run, they could make up to a million dollars in one run in today's money. So it was a very lucrative trade. And unfortunately, this ship actually sunk in 1863. Um, on the reef after running into trouble. Now it's got the paddle wheels just sitting there on the reef and you can see the boilers 
Now, at the bow, the bow has been absolutely destroyed by Hurricane Humberto. I did a video on the bow and the damage that Hurricane Humberto caused in another video, which I'll tag above, that you can check that out as well. But the fact that both wrecks are so close together, you can dive them both in one dive, and it's great depth for all divers. They're only around about 8 to 11 meters max depth, even shallower points, and it just makes it so much easier to explore, have a good hour dive on it, and open to all levels of divers, including snorkelers. So it's a perfect spot to come and explore as well, and normally you get great visibility on it, which really helps as well. You got me stone cold. I hope you guys enjoyed exploring the wrecks underwater, but let's jump back to the treasure room and let's go see the actual artifacts from the wreck. Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed coming diving the Montana and the Constellation shipwrecks us. The wrecks that inspired Peter Benchley to write The Deep. The crazy Bermudian underwater archaeologist in the film who's a bit eccentric is meant to be based on Terry Tucker. And we are here now in the shipwreck gallery, which is pretty much showing all of Terry Tucker's finds, a lot of what he's collected and discovered. He was one of the pioneers in underwater archaeology. But here we have right now is the treasures of the constellation. Right here is the morphine vials that were pulled off the constellation shipwreck. Pretty cool, aren't they? If you've definitely not seen the film The Deep, definitely check it out. Now we have some crosses there with Jesus on it. We have some stunning glasswork, which are plates and cups and mugs and jars. Again, all these were pulled off the shipwreck when he discovered it through his excavation work. So I really hope you enjoyed coming out and exploring the wrecks, the Montana constellation which inspired the film The Deep. Also I hope you really enjoyed coming around and seeing the artifacts and treasures from the wrecks and also other wrecks in Bermuda like the San Pedro and the Frenchman here and the Caesar just over there. If you ever find yourself in Bermuda, definitely come along and check the Bermuda Underwater Exploration Institute out. They have some brilliant exhibits. I know it sounds like I'm being biased because I work here, but they really do have some cool exhibits and some really interesting artifacts as well from the wrecks. I'll probably be here, so if you come to the gift shop and ask for me, I'm more than happy to come around and take you for a tour around the wrecks as well and show you what is on offer here. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smash the video a thumbs up, comment, and also please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. It helps out a lot, and we hope to see you in the next video, and keep exploring.